This is Lego set 70404, the King's Castle. First released in May 2013. Lots of different ways you can customise how you're going to lay the castle out. I'm really impressed. When I first saw it, the set looked as if it was just built of big window pieces. But with just under a thousand pieces in here, it's actually a lot bigger set and a lot more complex than I realised. Really good set. Happy with this one. Welcome back to Family Gamer TV. Today I'm having a look at one of the latest castle sets. Set 70404, the King's Castle. On the front of the box we can see a picture of the castle with the king at the top of the tower. There's the white knight sat on his horse. There's one of the dragon soldiers with the battering ram which is also a catapult. Looking at the top of the box, I can see the seven minifigs, three dragon soldiers, the king, white knight and two lion soldiers. If I spin the box around, see another view of the castle itself. There's a drawbridge and a gate, there's a catapult on the castle, another view of the battering ram and the white knight with his horse. You can also see over here on the far side different pictures of different configurations of the castle. We'll find out once I get the instructions open what different builds we can do. So there's 10 bags, all numbered, um, an extra 11th bag with the plates and the gate in it, and the pack of um, instructions and stickers. This is Lego set 70404, The King's Castle. First released in May 2013 in the USA and July 2013 in the United Kingdom. It sells for £79.99 in the UK, contains 996 pieces. On the castle you can fire the catapult, lower the drawbridge, raise the gate. There is also a white knight on his armoured horse. There are a set of dragon soldiers and they have a combination weapon which is battering ram and catapult. The castle itself is modular and features towers, a dungeon, the king's throne and the knight's table. It has a movable staircase, a secret escape door and in total there are seven character minifigs. I've moved on to the table to have a look at the set in a bit more detail. Let's start with the dragon soldiers. We'll start with this guy here. He's got a big mace on the end of a rod. If we take his helmet off, we can see he's got two expressions, a mean one and a scared one. This next guy's got a, um, a dragon shield and a sword, feather coming out of his helmet. He's also got two, two expressions mean and angry. This last dragon soldier has got um, a big axe. As you can see the printing on them is all very similar. They've got front and back printing on their torsos. This soldier has also got two faces. The dragon soldiers also have this contraption here. This is a combination battering ram and um, catapult. The really clever thing with this is the actual battering ram is um, runs the catapult. So we can take, um, a, I guess this is supposed to be a log, put the log in there, and if they were to hit something, that the actual um, catapult goes up. So let's reset that into position and we can fire it fires there so they can attack. Over here on the um, lion's side we'll start right up here on the top we have the king. Let's take him off, he's got a sword and a nice gold metallic helmet. 
The lion soldiers and everyone on the lion side only have single faces, they don't have the dual faces that the dragons do. The king's got some really nice printing on his front, on the torso. Um, there's a very tiny amount of printing on the back, under the cape. And I'll jump over here now. We have this guy here is the White Knight, and he's riding on his armoured horse. It's a nice bit of armouring on the horse. Um, good bit of headgear as well. Which pops off nicely. There we go. The White Knight itself has a helmet that can actually open up. A good sword, big lion shield feather at the top of the helmet. He has printing on both the torso and on his armour. Only single um, printing on the head again. The White Knight's also looking after the treasure chest. In here we've got coins, jewels and gold bar. Next on for the Lion Soldiers. This guy here is an archer, he's got his bow and arrows, printing on the front of him again, a nice metallic silver helmet, it is plastic but it does look very metallic. And last but not least this soldier over here, printing on the front of his torso again on the back, he's got himself a crossbow, different style of helmet but the metallic plastic again. One of the great features that you don't realise at first with the castle is it's actually modular. So this configuration we have it in now is just one of the many ways um, you can design it. So let's take it apart and then I can take you through each section in turn. So let's have a look at some of the actual modules. First module we have here is the gatehouse itself. We have a drawbridge and a gate. And the drawbridge works as a um, handle on each side. So we can actually bring the whole drawbridge up just by turning the handle. And send it down again, we can undo it. It's easier to pull on it. There we go. We also have inside, in the middle, a gate, and that's held by another handle on top. And this one's got a little locking system so the gate doesn't fall. So if I pull the lock out, and then let go, the gate drops down, keeping the enemy out. I can then turn the handle, and the gate lifts back up again. Put the locking piece back in, and it keeps it up. We also have a nice flag on the front, showing that this is where the lions are. We have a piece of rampart. Not much going on with this one. It has a stair case, you can lift the staircase off, and actually connect it to other sections inside the set. The counterpart to that is this section of rampart, so we've actually got a position we can actually put the stairs on in there. But this one has a, diff a secret over this one. There's a, a bit of wall that we can take the battering ram and come along and knock the wall in. That piece doesn't have any studs on top and fits quite loosely inside. So we can have a way for the dragons and soldiers to break into the castle. Uh, let's have a look at this section here one of the turrets. We have a nice crossbow on top, mounted on top there, another flag. And inside the um, bottom of the turret, we can see we've got a jail, so we can lock people away. Um, let's have a look at another tower. This tower also has a flag, and if we look on the inside, there's um, a table inside, front up. Go and sit at, 
And on top, a very fun thing, we have a catapult. So um, going all the way from the table up is a, um, a rubber bar and that provides the power for the catapult. So you can push down and flick. So we can take one of the logs, put the log in the catapult, pull down and flick. Have a look at the final tower. This is the outside view. From the outside we can see there's a door, secret door down the back with a keyhole. And we've got the key up there and a key there. Um, if we turn it around, there's the ladder so you can climb onto various sections of the castle. We have the king's throne and we have a door upstairs. And I think that's where we can hide the treasure away. So let's take that and put the treasure in there. Right, let's configure this in another way. Let's see if I can come up with a nice one. There. Nice big open castle. The back isn't joined together, but that's okay. Really good space to be able to play and have vehicles coming in and out. Um, let's drop the gate. Lots of different ways you can customise how you're going to lay the castle out. Um, I'm really impressed. When I first saw it, the set looked as if it was just built of um, big window pieces. But with just under a thousand pieces in here, it's actually a lot bigger set and a lot more complex than I realised. Really good set. Happy with this one. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you back here soon for some more LEGO set reviews.